Oh, it's Luigi. Hello. How you doing, everybody? I'm here, and Mario's somewhere over there. Mario! Mario! Hello! I don't know if he wants to come over. I think he's busy over there with Princess Peach, doing it over the, you know, doing it sideways. So, uh, Mario, come back now. Mario! Well, okay, he's not coming. Bye! Hi, welcome to another Game Boys are awesome video guys. Essentially guys, as you can see, is a trade and a pickup video for you guys. So I did a trade with Herbie Ask 007, which is Ian, a uh, great guy, and I did another trade with him, which is awesome. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you the stuff of him, what I got of him first. Um, please check out his channel guys, uh, you can find out what I traded him on his, um, I think it was like, um, his newest pickup video. Um, so yeah, this is what I got off him. I think it's on part two of his newest pickup video. If you want to check out that, and you can find out what I traded him. So what he traded, yeah, um, was he traded me some Wii games, which is awesome, and he even threw me in a Brucey, which I'll show you the, the note first. Um, let's get this out. Got me a nice little note, as you can see there, notes, and it says, "Hey, buddy." Here's the stuff we talked about. Thanks in, uh, was it thanks in for the trade? I uh, hope you enjoy the games. Don oh, yeah, he's basically, um, said boy here. Donkey Kong is a balls hard gay, balls hard. Keep the awesome videos coming. Ian from Herbert 007. P.S. Uh, there's a little Brucey, a little Brucey, I think it says, um, nothing. To excite him, but yeah, that's what he put to me. Um, hopefully, that was correct because I'm you know, I do struggle reading as I always say in my videos. Which, yeah, um, so what I've got here, guys, as you would have seen, one of them I've got is Donkey Kong, which I'll probably show you. So, I've got Donkey Kong here for the uh, Wii, which I've been wanting to get. And apparently, as you said, it's falls hard, and uh, a lot of few people I've, I know who, who've played this said it's really hard, but um, yeah. I've got it, and it's actually full, fully complete with everything in there. Uh, it's even got the points, I think, still, isn't it? I don't know. It's got, like, the Nintendo points, which haven't been used, but they'll probably be probably out of date. Uh, they went out of date last year, looks like. So they may still work, I don't know, but, yeah. So I've got everything in there. Manual, I'll just put that behind there about some manual, I think it's there. And the disc condition of these are probably uh, mint. I just got a message, which the disc on this is pretty scratched, but it should work, no problems or anything. So yeah, that's that. Let me just uh, close off Facebook, otherwise it will just keep going off. There we go. Right. So I got that, guys. That's awesome. So thanks a lot for that, Ian. Uh, another game here, which I've been really wanting to get. I've got the case for this and everything else. But I just haven't got a disc because I found a copy of this with no game in it, a car boot. And um, if anyone actually needs a case for it now, I've got a case up for grabs. Um, so I got a game for the Wii. I got the Wii uh, Mario Kart, which I never actually played. I'm honest, I never played this one um, because I, when the Wii was out, like popular, none of my friends had the Wii, um, so we never really played it. And yeah, so it wasn't really popular when I was when, was. So my friends weren't really into the Wii. It was more like it was all about the Xbox when this when the Wii was out. So the Xbox 360 was more what my friends had. So I didn't really get to play this game. So yeah. So I'm looking forward to actually having a go at this. We might have some friends over. And the disc condition of this is scratched, but it should work. Uh, which I'm not too fussed as long as I got the game now. And thanks a lot, Ian, for that trade, mate. Awesome, thank you. Uh, another one. Which is this is the Brucey one, and um, and that is red. Um, was it red? So uh, red slide. I don't know. 
Red Steel. Yeah, Red Steel, that's the one. I don't know. But this is the other one I got off. Uh, this is the Brucey one, guys. I got off uh, Ian J, which is awesome of him. All complete as well, which thanks a lot, Ian, for the extra Bruce. You didn't need to do that, mate. And then, as you would have already saw, uh, at the start of the video, me doing something a bit silly, um, I got a hat, which I got from Ian as well, which is this, as I got the Luigi hat, because um, I actually sent him a hat across as well in a trade, which you probably didn't see. I don't think he did a video of it, but um, I sent him a hat because I thought it's more he's going to enjoy that hat more than me because he's more of a big collector for it. So I sent him over uh, a while ago now. Um, I sent him over a uh, what was it PS3 hat which I found, and I thought you know I think Ian would enjoy that more or appreciate it more than me because I haven't even got I haven't even got a PS3. So <coughs> he said um, I've got some extra bits that I'll send off to you that you might be interested in. I said okay, what you got? And he, said, and he mentioned this, and I thought that is awesome. So he gave me a Luigi hat which I'm probably going to wear the rest of this pickup video because yeah, let's be Luigi. And, uh, oh, Luigi. Um, so yeah. That's basically, um, the stuff I've got up here. So thanks a lot for the trade, mate. And thanks a lot for this little Luigi hat. I won't wear it around the public as much as I like it. I will probably get some funny looks wearing this around, around town. So <laughs> I'm not going to actually, um, you know, wear it anywhere public. Maybe when I go to some conventions, I'll probably wear it around, you know. But yeah. So maybe if I take it, but I might even take it to Blackpool. I don't know. Uh, see what happens if I do. I'm hoping to go to Blackpool. I don't know yet um, because Lorna uh, is busy with um, uni, so I don't know if she can get time or, or have time to go. But hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, I'll be able to go to Blackpool and um, yeah, meet some of you guys again. So this stuff now, guys, I'm going to show you some game games I got from eBay. Uh, this game here, I'm going to show you first is the game that I had when I was a kid. And I fucking hated it, but I wanted it back because I'm trying to get the whole collection I had as a kid. There's only one more game now I need, and I've got all the games that I had boxed as a kid now. And um, this one is one of them I got when I was probably the next second, probably like a year after the game, a year after I had the Game Boy. I think I got this one like next Christmas, and that was Chicken Run. So I got Chicken Run, and this game was it is it wasn't was it is shit it's really bad i don't know if you guys like it but i just did not like it as a kid um but yeah i got this box in complete i'm not going to show you but it is boxed as you probably can tell all completed now and with a central case so i really have to have this one guys only bad thing is i accidentally um uh, damaged the box a bit on it i um i opened up with a scouring knife which i'm going to try and not stop doing that now I opened it up with this and I've damaged it a bit on the box where I, uh, I sliced it a bit, which I don't know if you can see. You can't really see it, but I sliced it a bit across there, but um, it's still okay. So, yeah, so I got that, guys. And then that came with another game, which I got. I got these about five quid. And then I got um, Tweety and... Uh, yeah, basically the one about Tweety Pie and stuff. I don't know. It looks really good actually. It's a Looney Tunes game. I think I've actually got a normal copy of this game. I'm not sure, but I got this. I got it boxed. Uh, I wasn't really. I wouldn't actually go out of my way to pick up this game, but this is in the bundle with the other ones, so I thought I'd grab it. So that's complete as well. Um, I've got some games here. I got after just after Christmas, and. Um, I saw a deal for the. I don't know if I actually showed you in my last pickup video. I don't think I did. And actually, I've got something else here which I forgot to show you guys. I don't you don't see that. Yeah, we go. I need to show you guys after I showed you this. Um, so I got some uh, Wii U games which I saw for like they're only uh, four pounds something, like four pound fifty or something like that. So I bought two of them, brand new sealed. I haven't even got a Wii U yet, but I thought you know for that price, uh, and I've had to go on the game at Kevin's house, and they were it's quite a fun little game. And I got uh, two copies of, as you can see, Mario, not Mario, uh, Nintendo Land. And um, so I got two of those for like less than five, less than ten quid posted. So, you know, brand new sealed, as you can see. I could not leave those behind, so I really happy to get in those. And this next thing here, guys, I've got something I brought when I went to um, Lake District with my girlfriend Lorna. She got family over there. And we um, picked this up. I picked this up. I found it in a charity shop for one pound. 
Um, if anyone's actually really wanting this, uh, I'm not actually in, into like Batman really, and I haven't really played the game before. But this is the Batman Lego um, little uh, po little, you know, in a, on a canvas, which I thought looked really good, and it was only a pound, guys. I left the price in so I can show you guys. Hopefully you can see this. There we go. Only a pound. I was going to leave it behind, but I thought, no, I've got to get this. This is not every something you see every day in a child shop. And it is legit, guys. It is legit. Um, let me show you up top. It's got all that the where it was made and stuff there. You can see all across there. So that's wicked, guys. That's really nice to have this um, in my collection. And maybe I may sell it on because I don't really. I'm not a big. I do like Lego games. I've played some, but I haven't really played um, this one. And I'm not a big fan of Batman, really. I like the movies, but I'm not really a big fan of it, if I'm honest. Um, so don't, I hope that doesn't offend anyone. That's just, that's just, I'm not really into it. So yeah, I thought I had to get that for a pound because you couldn't like, leave that behind. Um, I've got some like water damage there. You can see like little speckles of like there and there and there. Like you can see speckles on it. But, um, yeah, for a pound, I, you can't say no for that. So I've got that for a pound, which I'm just going to put back up here now. So, um, so I'm just storing it up there with my Mega Drive up there. Um, so now I'm going to show you some um, Xbox One game. Xbox what? Well, Xbox original games, I mean. Um, I picked these up from the child shop. All these games here. And I'm going to start... I've started a new collection, guys, now. I'm going to be starting to collect uh, uh, Xbox-only um, original games. And so I've picked up a couple here. I picked up... Uh, was it A-Dod? Is it... Odd World, uh, which is for the GameCube, the GameCube Xbox, sorry. And uh, as you can see, I'm going to do that only on Xbox One, so I'm going to start collecting these. And that is it, guys. So the disc condition of these are not bad, and it's all complete everything in here, guys. So all manual and everything, so I'm really happy to have that. It does have a bit of a crack case, but it's a bit smashed. You can see, like, around it, it's all a bit, so you can see it, like, crack around there. But uh, yeah, so I've got that one, so that's nice to the collection. I know there's about, about 200 of them or something, only ones that are on the Xbox. Uh, I've got Halo uh, 2, which I've already got in um, Classic Edition, but I wanted it in Black Label. Or as I, I don't know if it's a Black Label, I don't know what they call it, but I got it in the original one. And that is fully complete, even with everything, like the, the points in the back and everything like that, which is awesome, so... Nice to have that one back in the in or properly the proper one. I, I do love Halo um, 2. I just I brought it to the PC because you can play it online on the PC as well. But now I think it's been let been taken down now. But uh, I think you can actually use a a, a a thing called Game Ranger, a Game Ranger or something like that, which actually um, it makes servers now, guys. Um, so you can play like the old Age of Empires, all the old Call of Duty's online with other people. It's a really good little software. I may have to show you guys about it. Um, I play a lot of my old PC games online on it, and it's really fun. But um, it like, makes the games like not shit because like I like if I'm honest, I prefer playing like some of the, most of my games online because I enjoy like it being different every time. It's not really, not the same like like it is when you play a campaign game. You know, um, it's the way you you're not going to know what's coming around the corner. It's always different. That's what I like about online playing games. And stuff like that. So I think these are the last ones I've got. Are these what I've got from us? Yeah. I picked these up, guys. Which I got, I think it was last week. And I picked, first one I got here, guys, is Sonic Riders. Which is awesome. So I've been wanting this game. And I finally got it. So, and that was only 99p from Oxfam. My Oxfam has actually changed their prices. I remember, guys, if you guys have been following me for a while, my Oxfam prices in my local town were fucking crazy, crazy prices and this was a not a bad price 99p and that is all complete as well guys so that's really awesome so i know i never really see this game often so i've got that another game here which is not really worth anything but i'm keeping it because uh, apparently the storyline on these games are really good and that is monkey island for the ps2 which i didn't even know it was out for that i've got it for like the old pc and the um and uh, what's it called? The um, oh, I fucking forgot. Forgot the name now. Oh yeah, the Amiga. Sorry, fucking idiot. Um, 
So yeah, this one's all complete as well. And then the next one I got, guys, is Resident Evil 4. Um, that one is complete as well, and stuff like that. So I'll start one. So I got those for one one pound fifty, which is still a good price. Um, I think that's basically it, guys. I think that's basically it for my pickups. I think I probably have forgot something. Because I do always always get a few things. I've got a few things coming from eBay anyway, guys, which I haven't got yet. I have been selling some of my stuff on eBay recently because I, you know, I haven't got much money and I've got a lot of doubles and stuff. So I've been trying to get rid of them. That's why I've been trading a lot of my doubles to um, Ian Jerry's had a lot of my double Mega Drive games, as, as you probably might have seen already. I don't know. Um, so I've been just trying to slim down my collection a bit now because I don't need doubles of extra game, games I've already got. So yeah, basically trying to fund my collection a bit more as well. I know you don't, I don't want to be called a dirty reseller, but I'm, I'm even selling a lot. Just been selling little bits and bobs here and there and helping the people out. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think the next video maybe, I'm not sure, um, could be a car boot video. I keep saying it, but I have to haven't got around to doing it. I did go to the car boot, uh, the weekend just gone. Um, but it was, sh it was shit. I got like, only things I got was three things and they were like, less than a pound so um i will get into that guys and um try and get a video out for you there'll be a video just before christmas there'll be a video of me going on a car boot then and then there'll be this year's first one i went to which was it was it was poor so i can't wait for someone to come back and the car boots to be back how they used to be I really really miss the car boots like you know going there and just fucking the games everywhere you're not knowing what to get in that so I'm really looking forward to this year's car boot and um, summertime. So thank you a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys, and thanks for sticking around and being awesome, awesome uh, people to watch and all. You know, all that. Thanks for just you know supporting and subscribing and all that great stuff. So, yep, thank you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.